Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, I thought after my uh, review yesterday that uh, you guys also deserve uh, a proper review about uh, this one. The BG7 TBL. It is the 2019 model and it's the one with the display. And because I have it disconnected anyway, <laughs> We're going to open it and we're going to look at all the parts. I ordered the complete package, so it is the, the GPS DO. Uh, very nice uh, aluminum uh, box. Uh, nice and black. I like the color black. It looks uh, luxury. It comes with a power adapter. I order, of course, the European one. Uh, 12 volts, 2 amps. It's a switched power supply, um, but they uh, took precautions so you don't uh, see any distortion on your output signal, which is good. I do prefer using this one because it will be switched on day and night. So using a classic transformer, um, yeah, we need to be power uh, efficient. So uh, I, I will be using this one. So the one with the display. Um, it displays when the, the, the signal strength of the satellites, it will display an L when it's locked. Uh, you will have your, uh, uh, the time. I, uh, I left it uh, all default. Um, it will display uh, UTC time because we have daylight saving here in the Netherlands. So then I need to change the, the time to times a year. So I, I couldn't be bothered. Um, and it displays the, the frequency, so that is the most important one. Um, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, it comes also with a GPS mouse. Um, I put it already on the roof on one of my uh, exhaust pipe of the ventilation system. I'm here on the top floor. Um, I c can't show you, the, the weather is terrible, but it is just, I will put a picture. Uh, well, the connections, well, it speaks for itself. Uh, you connect the GPS. Uh, it can do three and all volts and five volts just by changing the resistor. Um, and this one was set to five volts. The, uh, the GPS mouse uh, can also do three and a half and five. So they just put it on, uh, on five. Uh, the power plug, you have your 10 megahertz out. Uh, this one is not a sine wave, it's some kind of rectangle. We will see, but it, it doesn't give any uh, problems. You have your one pulse per second and your, have your serial. The serial you can uh, use to uh, put a custom uh, message. I think uh, uh, you can change the time zones and you have the, a few characters that you can customize. But I, I, I don't uh, bother. Uh, the nice thing is you also have your uh, IMEA output, so you can connect something like uh, uh, visual GPS or something, and then you can see how many satellites it's uh, locked into, which is nice. Uh, you have a few LEDs. Uh, it's the run, which is the, the power. Uh, you have the GPS lock, and you have the alarm. And the alarm will switch on if there is no 10 megahertz output. It uh, has been running for uh, for at least uh, three weeks now. It was very precise. Uh, I decided to to disconnect it uh, anyway. Let's open it up, and I like to measure also the temperature. I, I, I just disconnected it, so uh, let's see the case. The case is like uh, 36 degrees, and uh, that is 97 in Fahrenheit. Um, so that's not really hot. So that's good. Um, let's open it. I like to know how hot is the oscillator. I quickly open. I don't want to damage the screws because they are nice and black. Um, so I try to do carefully.
Oh, that opens very nice. And here it is. The nice temperature control oscillator. It's a tremble. For me that sounds good because I knew in the past they had all these GPS uh, machines for boats and the first uh, ones uh, for cars. So Let's do that twice. That is 52 degrees Celsius. So that is uh, 126. It is hot. Well, you can touch it. Yeah. It okay, here we have it opened up. You can see the uh, crystal uh, oscillator, or I mean the, the temperature controlled oscillator. Um, it just slides out which is nice and on the bottom we can see the components um, this is probably the the GPS you can see here let me try that here you can put your 5 or 3 volts for your GPS receiver but I didn't change anything because it came as a package and I just checked and it was already correct uh, you have your processor here you probably have some dividers to get your 10 and your 1 and uh, yeah much too much uh, to it <laughs> here in the back you have a variable resistor and it's to adjust your contrast first I, I thought it was the, the brightness but uh, it turned out to be the contrast so uh, also you can, can leave it as it is I wanted to turn down a little bit the brightness to maybe save a little bit more uh, energy or just not make the, the casing that hot every little thing helps but uh, yeah, in the end it didn't <laughs> because it was a contrast uh, setting so yeah that uh, that is the the inside so here it is i connected the gps uh, antenna it hit the five uh, meters so it is enough and it goes up here through the window and then to my uh, pipe um, I also uh, have my power cable I connected it to the serial so it will be nice here later you can see how many satellites it has got uh, let's plug in it is now already cooled down again so we need to do everything again so let's see what we see it boots it will tell you the version and uh, there it is the signal is I don't know if you can see it but uh, yes I think so here antenna 5 bars it's UTC and you can see that the oscillator is uh, heating up so uh, let's wait for that oh, here it is uh, we have a pretty good uh, reception, I would say. Uh, most of the satellites uh, do have a, a good signal. So uh, now we're waiting for the oscillator to lock in. Uh, meanwhile, the, the GPS is trying to, to lock in the, in the oscillator. We can have a look at the signal and it should be some sort of a square wave. But yeah, as it looks to me, it's... Uh, it has some uh, pretty over, pretty a uh, lot of overshoot. It should be a sine wave. Ah uh, no, sorry. Meanwhile, the GPS is trying to get this uh, lock with the oscillator. Uh, we can have a look at the signal that comes out of uh, the GPS DO and this uh, specific model uh, doesn't have a sine wave but it has a yeah it should have a, a, a block wave but uh, when i look at it like this it, it has some uh, some overshoot um, maybe it's because i didn't uh, terminate it with the 50 ohms but uh, let's see and indeed with the terminator it, it does look uh, a lot better still has some overshoot but uh, yeah this is uh, good enough for a frequency counter or for another device to uh, to work 
also because uh, I needed more than uh, one 10 megahertz output. I uh, bought this uh, distribution amplifier. Um, it, uh, it, any input you put here, if it's a square wave or a sine, it will always output the sine. So it's uh, really regenerating the, the wave, which is nice. It has uh, two, two 10 megahertz outputs and uh, also f two of five. Uh, two of one megahertz. One of these I need for the Marconi and there is a 100k output and uh, one pulse per second. Uh, this one by surprise also had this own uh, oscillator inside. Um, it's also temperature controlled. Was a surprise for me I didn't order that because I don't need that. But once I connect uh, the GPS here it will automatically stop using its internal oscillator and then I have my temperature controlled GPS disciplined uh, signal which is uh, of course uh, better than the, this one although I saw yesterday this one is also pretty good already um, if we have a look on the inside uh, it does not have the tremble but it has another one it's a Vectron but it was very good, I uh, noticed yesterday, so uh, well, that's it. Not too much to say about this, but I just wanted to show you. I will connect it to the GPS uh, oscillator, and then you can see it will uh, change the signal into uh, a sine wave. So, that's it. We have our uh, GPS uh, right up there. I put it in the window, so because it's always a little bit uh, cooler here. I did put some blinds because I don't want to have it a uh, direct sunlight, well in this case uh, uh, rain <laughs> today, but uh, also in uh, <laughs> space wise. I wanted to have a position where it was uh, safe. <laughs> uh, and here I put the distribution amplifier. I'm still waiting for some of these nice uh, cables to arrive. I already connected the uh, frequency counter. And when I receive the other cable, I can also uh, connect to my Maconi. Then my lab is ready in the back here. You have the reception. Through the stereo cable, I just left it on. Uh, just for fun. So, <laughs> thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.